Greetings, everyone. Hi, Baba. A core memory that I have is that Baba was the only person who called me Cozy. He never said Cozy like everyone else. As a kid, whenever Baba bought McDonald's, he would always get me a Big Mac burger, which I, of course, would would never finish or end up puking. Baba, you will you will be dearly missed and loved. Lala what God. I'll just keep it plain and simple. In the time we spent together, I saw him as a father figure, a therapist, a spiritual trainer, and a counselor. I could all on, and I'm sure all knows that I take this time for grandchildren and his dream group. He taught us one thing. For one, life gets hard. Go down on your knees and pray. Baba may be many things. He was the sweetest soul to everyone, but he you to reprimand us with a strong hand, and I would like to thank him for that because he gave us a discipline and always put on the right path. I'd like to thank you for teaching us what's right and what's wrong. I'd like to talk about our parents when I say mama, tifo, mama, malum. Thank you for grooming and guiding us with the same hand that groomed and guided you. To my grandmother, Mkholu, I love you. We, all of us, we love you. We will always treasure and respect you. Thank you. I would like to take this chance to thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa, for showing me how to live life without compromise. Thank you for showing me what working in humanity and love is about. I know Papa was not only an inspiration to us, but he was an inspiration to many of you as well. I remember the last time I saw him. He was in his pink and white shirt and with blue pants. And you were on your way to church. You came to Pumi and I in the kitchen and said, eh, Bossisi, I'm gonna go to the And we said, we said no. Then Pumi and I said, and he really did. And we all laughed. And before I closed the garage, I looked at him drive away. And little did I know, it was the last time I had peace and get to see him. But one thing I know is that I'm gaining guardian angel. For, forever watch over us, Papa. Rest in perfect peace, peace to be a little. I love you always. My grandfather was the only reason we looked forward to our birthday. Because he always bought us chocolate cake and his favorite cream donuts and hot cross buns. Oh, Papa loves sugary things. Papa, best friend, we miss you every day. We are trying to accept everything that's going on, but it literally doesn't make sense. Our hearts are not at ease right now. As much as we are trying to act strong, like you always do, this has affected us mentally and emotionally because of how strong our bond was. Calm our hearts and help us understand the concept of you not being here anymore. And the fact that the normal yesterday is not going to be the normal tomorrow. We care for you still, and we will forever, because that was our part of the deal. Lala go tolo bungani, lala go tolo lingiana gele. Ama shi ama se go kwayana, ume se makulu o makulu kulu. Thank you. Papa Daniel ume se makulu. A perfect example of how a father should be. Men, you should learn from him. I remember there were times whereby I would pretend to be sick just to get more attention something. He loved us so much. And with everything that he had, he would drop everything just to come see us, okay. I the last conversation that I had with my grandfather was when I told him, Papa, you see, I got 92% for Afrikaans. And he said, yes, you see, I see. Next time, I want 100%. And I said, Papa, I don't think there's such a thing as 100%. And then he said, no, sis, I want 100%. And I tell you right now, Papa, those 100%, you will get them. Rest in peace. We love you, Lord. See, growing up, me and my cousins have been rather lucky to experience very little to no deaths in the family, which is why I feel it is especially hard for us to process and accept someone who's been so important to our lives up until this point, leaving us. Papa was a person with such a powerful and kind of scary aura, but once you got to know him, you'd know that he was one of the sweetest people that you'd ever meet. 
He always taught us the importance of education for success in life and taught us that you can have a lot of things in life, but family should always be our number one priority. And I would like to thank him for being the best moral compass and role model a person could ever ask for. Thank you, Papa, for everything that you've ever done for us. So please, today, can we not just mourn his death, but can we also celebrate his life? Because he was a great man, and he would never like to see us crying and in pain. Thank you, Papa. You will always belong in our hearts. La love of all of course. Thank you. It is well.